Hello, Internet. Jake Dester here with some very important exercises for saxophone players everywhere. For this, you do not need the horn at all. You just need your mouthpiece, ligature, reed, and maybe a piano or something. Okay, these simple exercises will improve your tone and tuning, that is, your intonation or pitch. First off, I am demonstrating this for the alto. But each sax in the saxophone family has its own mouthpiece pitch. As an alto player, mine is a concert A above the staff. If you play tenor, barry, or soprano, there are different pitches for each one. So if you are not an alto player, refer to this chart for your mouthpiece pitch. Okay, let's get into it. First thing you need to do is play the pitch on a piano or some other instrument. Then try to visualize the sound in your mind. Imagine that you are hearing it as loud as possible and sing it if you can. Once you've got it in your mind, take the mouthpiece and try to get that pitch to come out. Hold the mouthpiece just like it would be when you're playing. It may help to put it in your mouth with the horn to have something to refer to and without tonguing match that concert A. Once you can hit that A, try this exercise. Play the A for seven counts at seven BPM and then rest for one count to breathe. Then play it again. While you're resting, take the mouthpiece out of your mouth entirely. This way you are training your embouchure to find the proper form each time you put the mouthpiece in your mouth. Play it four times with the metronome at 70. Play the A on the keyboard during each rest. Once you have a handle on that, try this. Start from that A and lift the pitch down to a G sharp and back up, like so. Then lift down to a G and back up, down to an F sharp and back up, and go all the way down as low as you can go. My lower limit is about a ninth, that is a G, an octave and a step, below the starting A. This requires some shifting of the muscles in the throat as well. Here we go.
also try lipping from the A up to an A sharp and back down, then to a B and back down, and so on. You will find that going any higher than a C sharp is nearly impossible. Here goes. If you practice this faithfully, you will have some serious control of your tone and intonation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next video.